seen them say that it works so I believe everything I see apparently so <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Miley Rennell. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. As you guys probably saw, today is all about Sephora. I am giving you girls a haul, okay? I have given Sephora all of my money over the last couple of weeks, starting off with a VIB sale. I'm a Rogue member, so I got 20% off. And then more recently, starting December 3rd through the 12th, they are having the Gift Easy sale where everyone can get a one-time coupon coupon of 20% off their purchase and if you smart girl and you forget to get some things while you're doing it create a new account and go ahead and try to use the code again because it works I had to do it but with that being said I'm going to show you guys everything that I got and what I feel like you guys might need as well so anyways let's just get right into it so here is bag number one. The first thing that I got is these Peace Out Acne Strips. I've been seeing this on YouTube all over, specifically from Tiara Walker. I know she uses these a lot. And more recently, I've been breaking out. I don't know, I came back from vacation. My face was going crazy. I got a dermaplane facial. My face was going crazy after that. So I really just wanted to get a lot of skincare. So I started off with these Peace Out Acne Strips. They come 30 in a pack I'll link it below for you guys if you guys are interested in getting these and I've used a couple so far and I actually am loving them I am they do exactly what they say they're gonna do so that's always nice moving on to my next skincare item I got the youth of the people kale and green tea spinach I actually really bought this because of the girlies on tiktok I haven't used it yet, but literally everyone on TikTok uses this, so I, and they all have clear skin, so I figured, like, why not give it a try? I'm trying to switch up my skincare routine, so this I'm excited to start using. And it does come with a pump, so that was really exciting. The next thing for skincare that I got was this Fenty Skin Cleanser. I got this for the nights when I come home and I have a lot of makeup on, and I feel like an oil cleanser before my face face cleanser is something that I need to start using to help my makeup removal process. I think that I've been breaking out because I probably have cleansing my face in a way where I am cleaning out my pores well enough. So I got the travel size because I just wanted to test it out and see how I liked it or see how it works for me and then go from there. And then also perfect for my travel carry-on that I always have with me. So take this to my man's house and I could just slip it in my spend a night bag and keep it pushing. Following with that Fenty skin, I got the whipped body butter. This is my second one of these. I absolutely love it. It smells actually really divine and like I said, this is my second one and I actually really love this stuff. I thought it was overhyped because, I don't know, like people just love anything that Rihanna does and of course with reason, she's just amazing at what she does. But I have sensitive skin so I try not to like hop on the bandwagon things right away I'll just see how like other people's skin react to things before I take the plunge and believe it or not I really love this stuff so I went ahead and bought the smaller size again because like I said I like to just throw things in my bag and keep it pushing but I'm gonna get another one of these for my bathroom counter love this the next thing that I want to mention is this glam go super mud mask I've heard so many good things about this brand hold on let me just show you I've heard so many good things about this brand especially like a couple of years ago literally like all the girls would buy this brand for skincare and I heard it works wonders for your skin so like I said I'm going to be testing this out and seeing how my face reacts to it I think I should be good though I heard it's a really good product it this is basically charcoal so it should draw out all of the impurities and I'm sure my face will start purging but past that purging process I'm sure that it will start clearing up a little bit more so I'm really excited to use this and I'll keep you guys updated. The next thing that I got was this Nime Aside from Ordinary. Honestly I love Ordinary products. They are very affordable and they do what needs to be done. I bought the Hydrochloric Acid. That has been 
doing wonders for keeping my skin and you know the ends of my hair moisturized and Nymicide is a formula that is in most facial cleansers and also in most acne treatments this and silic acid so I just went ahead and bought myself some of this Nymicide to just use in my skincare nighttime routine and along with that I also got a jade tool I was really excited for this product honestly Alicia Ashley I'm taking TikTok was ranting and raving about how she's been using one of these tools to kind of contour and slim out her jawline and her face and it kind of just removes all of that fluid that builds up in your face especially if you eat a lot of sodium so I am excited to use this I will be using this every night after my skincare routine when I have all of my serums and oils on my face I'll just sit there and do it I think the recommended time is like anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes a day so I'll be doing this at night I I highly recommend you girls getting one of these. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon, but of course, I was just going to go get one from Sephora being that there was a sale. The next thing on the list of things that I purchased was this fresh rose facial toner i've heard really good things a lot of my friends have recommended this to me in the past and i don't know i just never bought it but i was standing at the checkout line in sephora williamsburg and i looked over to my left and i saw it just sitting there and i just grabbed one so i didn't necessarily need a new toner but because i was on this buy myself a whole bunch of new skincare moment i decided to pick this up too and i will add this to my new routine so super excited for this it smells really good i smell the sample so I'm excited to see how this works with my skin and what good things it'll bring and lastly I guess to follow up with skincare this is actually for my scalp I got this first aid anti-dandruff scalp serum 2% salic acid i've been using this since i made my first sephora purchase and to be honest it, it it works i don't suffer from dandruff but i do have like an itchy scalp and i've used like natural remedies like um tea tree oil blends and different things like that and everything is temporary and it doesn't necessarily work a hundred percent but i find that this stuff has been really helpful it, the effects of it last on my head for like 48 hour so that is really nice i can go like a couple of days without my head being itchy i'm a person who likes to wash their hair every week or every other week so along with this product i feel like i will not be suffering from an itchy scalp anymore like i said i'm not someone who suffers from dandruff but i am someone who suffers from an itchy scalp my scalp i don't know my skin is really sensitive i am black <laughs> and as a person of color i'm not someone who can wash their hair every day so in between my washes this has been a lifesaver oh well, future miley hair as i'm editing this video i realized that i did place an order last night for some additional skincare after stopping in sephora again and speaking with a skincare care specialist they recommended these items to me so i made sure i went home and created a new account wink and got these all on sale so the prices that you see are the retail prices but just 20 percent off is what i paid so just wanted to make sure i included it all right so that kind of basically wraps up all of my like skincare stuff and let's move on to the fun stuff at least my version of the fun stuff which is makeup i'm going to do it by brand and within that brand i guess like the category of items that i got because i just got a whole bunch of different things for every part of my routine from foundation to new concealers to new eyeshadow palettes to setting sprays to all of that i'm gonna start off with milk okay, so from, from milk, milk i got the full size primer with the hydro grip setting spray i heard this combo right here is very mask friendly you use the primer you use the setting spray after and then i heard your makeup goes nowhere you can put a mask on and it's not going to transfer and i haven't tested it out yet but i'm really excited to use this the girls on tiktok like i said convinced me to spend my money on this so I've seen them say that it works, so I believe everything I see, apparently. So I'm really excited to use this, and I'll let you guys know if it works. Follow me on Instagram to get an update, because that's probably where I'll give it. The next brand that I'm going to get into is Estee Lauder. I went ahead, again on TikTok, and saw that the Estee Lauder Double Wear Same Place Foundation was one of the better foundations for girls like me who have combo to oily skin. I get really oily in this T-zone 
only area not necessarily my forehead but this middle part of my nose and right here by my cheeks is where I tend to get oily and I heard that this foundation is one of the best and it's almost sweat proof I got samples like almost a month ago so when the Sephora sale started I knew that I wanted to get it but unfortunately this line doesn't have a color that completely matches my skin tone so I've had to kind of like finesse my way in there and I got the color cinnamon that one is like more of a tan neutral with no type of like olive undertones which I am it's been working for me so far as you can see I'm wearing it right now and I feel like it looks good one thing about this is that it does not come with a pump and I absolutely hate that I think that it is so messy and if you know you know doing your makeup sometimes can be a little bit of a messy process so I hated the fact that it did not come with a pump so I went back on Sephora for the VIP sale and I made sure to order the pump that went along with it it was an extra ten dollars I wish they would have just sold the combo together that would have just made life a lot easier I don't know anybody who wants to use a foundation without a pump but maybe you are that type of girl I surely am not so I went ahead and got myself the pump staying on that foundation tip I went ahead and got color matched finally at Sephora Williamsburg shout out to Corey he was so helpful definitely go and visit him he is such a sweetheart and he knows how to help the brown girls so with that said um we sat there and went through every single foundation inside of the Sephora and we figured out that the best match for me with this current tan that I have was this naked weightless foundation and I got it in the color 70 and N. Like I said, I'm a neutral tone with um, olive undertones. So yeah, this was like the best match that would match like my chest and neck area. So this is what it looks like. I'm super excited for this, but I really like the way that it matched my skin tone in store. The next brand on our list is Huda Beauty. I'm so excited because I am really obsessed with her these days, especially when it comes to eyeshadow. I'm not necessarily like the world's most exciting person when it comes to eyeshadows. I really love a neutral eye and I've been using my Morphe palettes for years and they've been working with me, but I figured, hey, why not just try some new things? And I'm really obsessed with Huda because of how pigmented her shades are. Um, a couple of months ago I got the khaki palette and I really loved it. I love the color transfer and it was just like everything for me and I knew that when the Sephora sale came around that I was going to go ahead and stock up. So I went ahead and got the brown palette and then also the wild. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's just really pretty. I just really love the neutral tones in this. I recommend this 100, 100%. Like if there's one thing you need to buy, definitely this palette. And then I got something a little fun, the Wild palette. This is what it looks like. It has a lot of fun, funky colors, greens, some pinks, and a little bit of browns. So I feel like the days that I want to do a little bit of a cool, fun look, I can use this palette. So next up is Charlotte Tilsbury. Oh my god. Everybody has been talking about Charlotte, Miss Charlotte, Miss Charlotte. So I had to go see what it was about. I went ahead and got myself the airbrush setting spray. I have been using this for the last couple of days. And let me tell you, I really enjoy this. Sprayed on my face right now. I feel like when it sets in, your makeup ends up looking really really flawless this one product from charlotte tilsbury is the answer the next thing that i got from miss charlotte was the bronzer i got it in the color three tan and i was not sure if I wanted to get this, I wanted to actually get the Makeup by Mario bronzer as well. I believe I did. I wanted something a little bit softer and Corey, like I said, recommended this bronzer. He was ranting and raving and saying how Miss Charlotte did it with this one. So maybe you need to go and pick yourself up one of these. I haven't yet used it. Like I said, it's brand new, fresh out the box. Super excited to use it though. I went in there with the intention of getting her face powder, but Corey was telling me that for my particular skin tone that he would not recommend it due to the lack of shades available. So we went ahead and got me a whole different setting powder instead of the Charlotte Tilsbury. But 
like I said, I got the bronzer, so I'm excited to use this. And then the girls have been talking about Pillow Talk for almost a year. So I went ahead and finally picked up the lip gloss. It's like a peachy nude and I feel like it looks good on an array of skin tones whether you're light or you're tan like me or you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone. The lip combo that I would love would be a NYX Espresso, a really dark line lips and then just throw on this little neutral pink over it and... A little bit of gloss and you're good to go and speaking of lip gloss I went ahead and re-upped on the Fenty glass bomb I've had so many of these so I just wanted to get myself a new one I really love this if you don't have it definitely pick it up it's everything you put this over any lip combo and it just gives it an extra shine you need it I know I mentioned wanting the makeup by Mario bronzer but I didn't end up getting it because of I got the Charlotte Tilbury but I did get a few products from makeup by Mario I ended up getting the sculpting stick in the color dark deep Oh, and I did not know that. I'm so surprised. It comes with a brush at the end. How cool is that? All right, he did it. I love that for me. I didn't. I literally did not know it came with a brush at the end. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. And I like the dark deep one because it was a little bit of a neutral, whereas the dark had a little bit of a reddish undertone, which isn't something that I personally liked on my skin. So I went ahead and got the dark deep shade. So as you guys saw, real surprising, it comes with a brush at one end and the stick on the other what i really loved about the makeup by mario sculpting stick is that it really blends into the skin well it's very soft and it's very workable and you can build it i'm not a person who really contours very often honestly like i'm more of a bronzer type of girl to just warm up my face but i just wanted to have it just for an option in case i wanted to contour one day <laughs> anytime i do contour though it snatches my face and it can cause me to look a little bit too harsh so I prefer makeup that's a little bit more softer but listen it's always good to have everything in your kit just in case one day you want to switch up a look and do something different for the outfit that you're deciding to wear the next thing that I got from makeup by Mario was this f2 duo brush I was watching a get ready with me with Tasha Washa I think that's her YouTube name I'm sure you guys know her and she was raving about this makeup by Mario brush so I went ahead and got it the bristles are so soft and I heard it blends out everything really well it blends out bronzers really well it blends out contours really well so I'm just really excited to use it and I heard everything makeup by Mario is fabulous anyway but I'm really excited to use this f2 brush the last thing that I got from makeup by Mario is this blush in the color desert rose it is so pretty oh my god it's like a mauve not too red but not too pinky blush and that is what i love from my personal skin tone i'm really excited to use this i saw a lot of girls ranting and raving about this particular brush and like i said i got it in the desert rose color moving on i needed some new setting powder so there was two that i went ahead and bought i actually got the patrick star one size setting powder and i got it in the travel size because i wanted to test it out i heard arnel armand raving about how she compares this to chanel translucent powder so i wanted to test it out and see how it worked for me along with this i also got it hasn't gotten here i had to order it because it wasn't available in store the hue to beauty the blondie setting powder that one is really amazing Corey recommended it for everything that I got within my purchase today and like I said I got this one size translucent powder really excited for this recommend it I heard it's really good the next brand that I went ham on I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw me trying to figure out what concealer I wanted to get and girl I went ahead and got every single shade for tanned skin i went and got the soak the shore i went and got the praline i got ginger i got tiramisu and i got the color biscuit so i got the mini size because i <laughs> i just figured let me just get 
give them all. That is literally the type of person that I am. If I can't decide if I like something, I just decide to get everything. And I'm just going to test them all out and see what shade I like best for the makeup that I do. And then I'm going to go with that. Let me show you. Let me open one and show you guys how big the minis are if you've never purchased one. They were like $13 a piece, so no big deal. I didn't feel crazy about spending the money and once i decide which one i like i will go ahead and buy the full size version at some point in time the color that i'm currently using that i have on right now i am using macadamia which is like that bright under eye look that i like to go for along with that i got the color corrector in the shade medium super excited for this because as you know, like I said, I've been breaking out and I'm the kind of person that when I do break out, I am left with hyperpigmentation and to have flawless makeup, you have to color correct. So I highly recommend getting this NARS. One of my friends put me onto this and I have never turned back. So I made sure to go ahead and get myself another. Last but not least, if you were shopping the gift sale this year, you'll know that the Sephora collection is 30% off. And I went ahead and got the Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder in the color Almond. And this is the shade that works best with the foundations that I use currently and the new ones that I've bought. And I'm really excited to use this. When we did my makeup in store, this had my face looking real, 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 real smooth. So honey, I highly recommend this product. And like I said, it'll be 30% off if you use the gift easy code. Along with that, we went ahead and did a lip combo. So I got the Artist Color Pencil by Makeup Forever. And this is in the shade Limitless Brown. It's just like a normal like dark brown lip pencil. And then I paired it with a Sephora lip gloss liquid lipstick and I got this in the shade warm nude again I am a very nude tone person I love neutral pinks and neutral browns that's just the colors I feel looks best on me and I highly recommend this lip combo Smithless brown and the Sephora liquid lip in warm nude perfect 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 lip combo if you love that cute nude lip. and that was it for makeup so let's get into my favorite part fragrances i actually got two new fragrances one of them hasn't gotten here yet i had to order it online because unfortunately the williamsburg location does not sell perfume but girl you can order it in store and then have it shipped to your house for free and still get the discount so i went ahead and ordered a couple of perfumes one of them I got during the VIP sale, so I'll go ahead and pick that one up. I ended up getting the Tom Ford in the Rose Prick. I absolutely love, 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 love this scent. Everyone has been complimenting me every time I've worn it. it if you are a girl who likes that feminine yet sexy scent, this is for you. And then last but not least for fragrances, I got the Mason Margiela Coffee break i currently have the lazy sunday morning one and that one kind of smells like powdery cotton it really is reminiscent of the name it smells very like fresh and clean and i love to run my errands in that it feels like i just took a fresh shower and my clothes just came out of the dryer and i smell now like my um bouncy sheets like i just love the way that mason margella lazy sunday morning was and then in store like i said when i was in miami i also smelled the coffee break one and i really like that one a warm but sweet scent so i highly recommend those three perfumes and with that being said that is everything that i got from sephora i spent like over a thousand dollars at this point but it was well worth it i stocked up on everything that i'll need for the next like six months i'm sure i hope you guys enjoyed and that some of the purchases that i made inspired you to go ahead and spend your 20 percent off it ends on december 12th so make sure you go ahead and shop the sale so i'll see you guys in the next one bye